Hopefully have, we have enough concrete. Well guys, I have some bad news. We have enough concrete? Yeah. We did not have enough concrete. Uh, they're getting some more concrete to uh, be able to finish uh, this pool. Uh, so right now what we're doing is we're actually going to be pouring concrete and hopefully everything goes well, everything's ready, everything's ready to go, so it should be good. After forming concrete beam for nearly two days, we are finally ready to pour. This is the first step of this concrete project. This will give us 12 more inches of depthness and a concrete finished look that we are desiring. And as we're doing this pour, I'm also finishing concrete around my guest house, so it looks nice and neat. So today is the day we finally finished with the first part of the concrete. We were able to get at least 12 inches of depth and 18 inches of width. This is a collar that goes around the pool and makes this pool a little bit deeper. I had to do this prior to pouring the rest of the concrete. So on this side we're gonna have about like three to four feet and then on opposite sides so we're gonna have about 11 so that's where the chair is gonna go. Sweetheart, I think you need to stop looking at the pool and go back to work. I it like you working. so good. <laughs> it looks so good. I know right? I did not imagine this beauty. Honestly guys, um, when a uh, pool guy told me when you add concrete uh, you'll see your pool's gonna enlarge <laughs> and he was right. Today I'm gonna be grading most of this hopefully I'll be able to finish everything today so let's go let's do this. Approximately 10 hours later. Are you still here honey? That's right I like to see you worky worky. Look how happy he is. Happy husband happy life. As you probably noticed, uh, I will have to bring up over 8 inches of dirt all around this pool and somewhat level it with our house. There is quite a bit of work ahead of me. This is not a final grading, but this will get me closer. We will final grade after everything is poured and done around this pool. I can't find my husband. I find him doing this, guys. Can you believe it? You got caught, boss. What? You got caught. I'm glad that I got caught doing good work. Yes. Every so, time I can't find you, I know you're out there doing something. I told the guy to stop dumping right before this driver starts, and uh, somehow his bed got stuck, and he wasn't able, so he, uh, he he dragged it all the way up my driveway here. So he goes. To I don't have a bobcat rented for today, so we are improvising and using my little UTV to finish prepping for a concrete pour. At least I have this little guy, or else I would have to use a wheelbarrow. Oh, that's cute. I don't want to do that. Look how much only. Your muscles are getting bigger, Russ. I'm glad that's what I'm trying to do. Two birds with one stone, right? Build those muscles and build a pool. Get a shovel. <laughs> Change plans. So exciting. Two is better than one. The two guys. So now when the one is Russ. <laughs> <laughs> so this is gonna be a little quicker, I hope. Well, I don't know where he's going. He's changing his course. Yeah. Look at this. He's trying to escape. Escape the fun part. Run, Forrest!
By the way, like, share, subscribe. I think it's safe to say that you made it this far. I think you should take the next step. I know it's a little hard, it's a big commitment, but hey, once you do it, you'll be satisfied. And guess what? You'll be blessed. I don't know how, but you will. So yeah, thank you. All right, guys, we actually need to wire all these uh, disconnects, uh, some of these panels. Uh, so this is gonna be your chloride uh, panel and then uh, time clock and then also a light uh, panel for pool inside. So, pool inside. <laughs> Lights in the pool. It made no sense. Guys, if you're doing this yourself, you want to save some money on wire, this is the best way to do it. Buy yourself a cord and then just chop it up. Everything you need is right here, literally. Are you serious? Because, uh, literally. Wow, so, that is, uh, how much did you save right now? Like, this, is, uh, this is like $28, this is a 14.3. That's all I need uh, for all of my panels. And this is the cheapest and the easiest way to do it. Buy yourself a cord and just cut it up. How'd you come up with that? Well. It's called Years of Experience. All right guys, so today's the day we're gonna be pouring final concrete. Hopefully everything goes well, hopefully we have enough concrete. And uh, yeah, let's go, let's do this. So while we're pouring pool, we're also pouring concrete around the house. I want to avoid any vegetation or any greenery that usually tends to grow next to the house. So on this side of the house, what we're doing is we're actually expanding the concrete pad in order to have pathway to our front door entrance. And the same time, we can actually make a small little lounge area around this side of the house. And plus, if you see on this side, we actually have a doorway to our garage so it's gonna be nice and convenient to have concrete on this side uh, so right on this side this is where the driveway we're gonna be able to tie the driveway right to the concrete and it's gonna be very nice and tight and clean We have enough concrete. We have enough concrete? Yeah. Yeah? So hopefully we do. Alright, so while we're building the pool, our AC went out. And uh, check out this AC unit. Let's compare my old unit and the new unit. Alright guys, so this is a small unit. Look at this guy. Very cute. And then you got this monster. It's the same unit, same size. Just a much bigger, much larger, massive looking unit. This is his first day, right? First day. First day on the job. Yeah. yeah Imagine so. my excitement right now. I'm super excited. Uh, he has never done this and he's practiced on my house. Yeah, yay. Well, first, what's the, how does it go? First, uh, first timer? Be, no, beginner's luck. Beginner's luck. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you'll have a beginner's luck yeah, because... Look at, look at the space he's given us to work with though. Yeah. Good mean, space, is... right? No. <laughs> tighter is better, that's what they say. Tighter is better. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know, it's all taken apart. Hopefully it goes back together. Just, oh, that's right. Yeah, way. so what's going on with this? I mean, this is supposed to be a new unit. <laughs> and um, hopefully we can put it back together. Finally, 
Luckily, they finished the concrete. That took a long time because of the rain, all the damages that was around here, right? Was there damage? There was no damage. <laughs> Anyways. Hopefully, we'll be able to enjoy this pool very, very soon. I remember the guy who was installing my plumber, he says, I bet you anything you're gonna jump in into the pool before it's finished. And uh, I actually kept that bet. I did not jump in. There was a lot of rain this season, so we had to wait a few weeks. So the ground settles and finally settled, the concrete's in, we're happy. Next step is graining around the property and then the grass comes in and then we get to swim. And now I do pray for more rain because we're gonna be seeding grass very, very soon. We will need a lot of rain so we can get this grass nice and green and lush. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you or you will see me on the next episode.